people are going to watch this and think, wow, I can do it too. And then when they try and don't, they're going to want to use steroids. They're going to look at this guy and say, wow, he gained 50, 60 pounds of muscle in a couple of years. I only gained five or 10. What's wrong with me? And they're going to resort to taking steroids. And even with steroids, this is a way above average transformation. Coach Greg in today's video, and natty or not, on Max Yuseta. A lot of people look at his physique and say, of course, you can achieve that natural. If you have great genetics, you work hard, you can achieve it. But the question isn't whether it's possible to look like that natural, it's could he have done it? And so his journey began at the age of 17, where he began lifting weights, standing 5'8", weighing somewhere between 115 and 120 pounds. And so in doing a natty or not, you want to establish what kind of growth potential did this guy have. Have. Was he blessed with great genetics to be the next Chris Bumstead? And so let's look how he looked at 17. Remember, this is grade 12. And so in looking over his physique at 17, he appears to have the physique of a smaller 14-year-old boy. He does not have a lot of muscle, doesn't look athletic, doesn't look like the kind of guy that in a couple of years is going to be able to put on 60 plus pounds of muscle. And he says as a child, he was happy. But when he got older, he never liked his body. He felt small. His smile began to fade. He was insecure. He didn't like his appearance. He even states that he was depressed. And so looking at this from an outsider's perspective, I'm thinking this guy didn't like his body. He's feeling very small, five foot eight, 115 pounds. It's not a big guy. And so imagine the temptation to use performance enhancing drugs. You see all these videos on YouTube, these amazing transformations. People say they're inspiring. Yeah, they inspire you to take steroids. You're watching this video, you're seeing this really thin guy, 115 pounds, 5 foot 8. And three years later, wow, 180, 190 pounds, solid muscle. Wow, he worked hard. Look at the titles alone. Do the titles not tell the story? My two-year natural body transformation. This is a kid with parents. Do you think he's going to title a video? My two-year enhanced transformation. What incentive, what motivation would he have to say, I did this with performance-enhancing drugs? Perhaps you're not even legal in his country. But notice his newest title. My three-year body transformation. Am I the only one that can actually make sense? of videos is it really that complicated oh he did it natural well let's look on reddit oh i know i'll find out if he's natural i'll look on reddit there's a natty or not i'm in reddit that'll tell the story i'll read what people say it's a compliment to him if you think he's not natty what he's working with is 100% natty achievable with a good diet and above average genetics to be lean. Whoever downvoted me is probably a five foot six clown like a man like coach greg it's called genetics yeah, so we looked at his genetics. He looks like a guy that could train 20 years and not have the physique he has as a 19 and 20 year old. Oh, but he did it natural. He's an inspiration. I can't wait to do what he did. I'm 17. I'm 5'8", 115 pounds. And I watched his video and it motivated me. I'm going to join the gym, perhaps work out at home. And in a couple of years, I'm going to be a Chad. I'm going to look amazing. I'll have more muscle than most competitive bodybuilders. Only the sad reality is, even with steroids, this is an amazing transformation. Most people who look like he did at 17 with steroids would not end up with the physique he had at the end. And so he has above average genetics for for using performance enhancing drugs. You really think this is natural? Really? Can anyone explain in his three year transformation video, he shows he starts at 115 pounds and by year two, he's 150 and year three, he's 187 pounds. That's 80 pounds of mass in 36 months. I don't see how that's possible. 2.2 pounds per month, every single month, never losing. How does this make sense naturally? And so imagine the incentive for him to not tell the truth. He has 776,000 followers as I do this, making a lot of money, and people are admiring the guy. Look at the hard work, the dedication. And after all, he has to be natural. After all, it's in a title in a video. If somebody puts natural in the title, it means he's natural. No one would ever exaggerate. No one would ever say they're natural when they're not. I lied. You at one point in your life trained natural? Does that mean you're natural for your entire life? Maybe he started his journey natural. He could have. It's quite possible. When you first join the gym, you do in fact have new beginnings. That is a time in your life when you will experience the most significant growth. But after that, it's a sharp decline. What once came easy now becomes very hard.
And if hardness is an issue, of course you can get harder than last time supplements. And if it's caused from having too low testosterone, perhaps try using G-Test or 3-Test to increase your natural testosterone production. They have a variety of ingredients shown to boost testosterone by up to 400 nanograms per deciliter. But as he continues to show his transformation photos, notice that the gains, they seem to be speeding up. He gets better faster. And he'll say, oh, I learned how to train better. Oh, I went on a bulk. That's the code that everyone seems to use. Oh, I went on a bulk and that's why I put on my muscle. And so people, they buy into it. And so it's believable and that's why they do it. But just look at the changes in his physique. And so the reason he stands out so much is not because he has an amazing physique now, but more so because he had a very underwhelming physique to begin with. If he had started with amazing genetics at age 17, was 150 pounds of muscle, and now was 180 pounds, people would say, wow, you look really good. You worked hard. You did great. Good on you. Perhaps you're natural. But if you start out way below average size, and you end up above average size, why would you think it's done natural? It was like maybe 115 to 120 pounds at 5'8", and I would just throw together random home workouts with some weights that I had in my basement. I was eating pretty much whatever my mom made and more. Yeah, I just randomly, you know, started doing push-ups, calisthenics, just toyed around, didn't know what I was doing, and randomly put on 40 pounds in a matter of months. And so unless he was anorexic to start with, as in under eating, as in avoiding eating food, or went through puberty at the age of 17 and suddenly grew six inches, he didn't put on 40 pounds in that amount of time natural. And so you just think because he's 17 and he's in high school, he looks like a nice guy that you can trust him, that just because he says he's natural, that you automatically have to believe him, that there's no way he would have touched his arm. No, it just couldn't have happened. The guy was depressed, didn't like his body, felt skinny. Do you not think there's a chance that he might have resorted to using PDs? Said, what am I going to do? I know. I'll start working out. I'll take some SARMs. Could that be plausible? I then started my first semester at college in August, and that's when I really started taking things more seriously. And let's say he did it natural. He then moves out of his parents' house, goes to college. Yeah, he doesn't have access to any new information. No drugs are in college. No one would ever touch SARMs or steroids in university. I started tracking my calories, tracking my weight, going to the gym. I got my first ever gym membership. And at the end of October, I dieted down to 140 and looked the best I'd ever looked in my life. And I know that kids develop acne, but remember, he was 17 years of age and he didn't seem to have any acne whatsoever and suddenly he had acne. And so potentially he was just a very late bloomer going through puberty at a much older age or he could have got it from taking steroids. And for the next few months, I kind of just maintained because I was way too obsessed with being lean. And so for the next few months, you know, I just maintained. And so nothing really happened, you know, because you can't put on muscle if you're maintaining your body fat percentage. You only put on muscle if you're in a bulk. Everyone knows you can put on muscle when you're dieting unless you're starving yourself. But if the guy has the kind of genetics that can put on 60 pounds of muscle in a matter of years, do you really think he's gonna suddenly stop putting on muscle just because he's maintaining his weight? Or is it more likely that he cycled off, perhaps he was taking a cycle for 12 weeks and then stopped and then went back to it? And so he lost a little bit of muscle or just maintained his size. And then when he took the SARMs again, that's when he again put on so much muscle. Till March of 2020, when quarantine struck and I was sent home from college and started my first ever proper lean bulk. Yeah, lean bulk. You, you know, I barely put on any fat at all. I just magically put on four or five pounds of muscle per friggin' month. I bought some more weights and equipment off Amazon and I was back working out in the home gym and just slowly gained weight from around 140 in March to 173 at the end of September. Yeah, I just slowly gained weight. You know, I put on 36 pounds a couple months, slowly. 30-something pounds of muscle growth usually takes people 10 years. Sorry, if you're an ectomorph and you have a difficult time of putting on muscle, and you haven't hardly put any muscle on to the age of 17, you're not suddenly going to grow like a weed just because you're in a bulk. And I initially planned on going to the end of the year, but I got really self-conscious with how I looked and just decided to cut it short. And so imagine being self-conscious with how he looks. Look at this physique, his bulked up fat version. This guy looks incredible, but it's not good enough. He was 115 pounds at age 17, and now it's still not good enough. Remember what I keep saying? You're never going to be satisfied. Exhibit A, he's not satisfied. And so what happens? You start using PDs. You're not happy with the rate of growth. Oh, I only put on 25 pounds of muscle this year. I need more. So I began my first official cut at the beginning of October in 2020, and I got really lean really quick. And so he couldn't put on any muscle while maintaining his weight, but then he bulks up, puts on a ton of muscle, and then while dieting down, puts even more muscle on. And so if you can't put on any muscle while maintaining your body fat, 
How are you putting on so much muscle in your bulk and then continuing to put on so much muscle in your cut? How are you putting on muscle in your cut? Explain that to me. Again on December 9th at 1.57, and a few weeks after that is actually when I started posting consistently on TikTok, and I again got a little obsessed with being lean, and so I maintained until around February of 2021. I mean, look at this guy, single digit body fat, looks incredible, he's not satisfied, gain, lose, gain, lose, oh, I'm natural. And remember this, he doesn't even say he's natural anymore. And so that's code for. I went to the dark side. I joined the dark side. Why do people still think he's natural? And at that point, I started a small bulk just so I could cut for the summer. And in April, I looked like this at around 168 pounds. And why does he keep cutting and bulking? Why don't you just main gain? Get to a healthy body fat percentage and main gain. And cut down again to the leanest I ever was in July at 155. And this is actually when I started posting consistently on YouTube. And not only do I think this guy is not natural, I also think he time traveled. The guy looks like he aged 10 years. At age 17, he looked 12. 14 at best. Now he looks like he's in his 20s. Look at this guy's physique. It's incredible. I started my third year of college back on campus and finally got back to the gym and decided to start my second long, serious lean bulk, which began in August. And this, in my opinion, is when my progress really took off. I mean, it really didn't take off till now. I mean, it only put on 40 plus pounds of muscle in a matter of one or two years as an ectomorph. But now, now it really, really kicked in. People, come on! I started training a lot smarter, eating a lot better, and just doing things more efficiently. And I went from 153 at my leanest in August to 187 at my heaviest in March of 2022. 34 more pounds! After going through his newbie gains, after saying, oh, I only gain muscle in my bulk, and being so concerned with being lean, oh, it's just a magic, oh, it's just finally kicking in, I just really know what I'm doing now. Yeah, he really knows what to take now. I weighed in this morning at 179.6 and looked like this a couple nights ago after a full day of eating with no pump. And so he's 179.6 pounds. He started at 115. Does this look natural? Even with great genetics, this would be very rare. At the age of 20, he looks far better than I did. And I have way above average genetics. And I began training at 10. And I went through puberty at 12. I have world records in the bench press. This guy way bigger than I was with three years of training in comparison to my 10. Oh, but he's natural. And yet people think I was not natural. I literally get accused of being a fake daddy all the time. Oh, I've seen his physique when he was a kid. Oh, he was a fake natural. I took PDs my 30s. Y'all think I was fake daddy at 20? Really? Yet this guy is way more massive than I was. He doesn't even look slightly natural. Even if he had great genetics, it still doesn't look natural. And so many of you see this as inspirational. I see this as depressing. I see this as people are going to watch this and think, wow, I can do it too. And then when they try and don't, they're going to want to use steroids. They're going to look at this guy and say, wow, he gained 50, 60 pounds of muscle in a couple of years. I only gained five or 10. What's wrong with me? And they're going to resort to taking steroids. And even with steroids, this is a way above average transformation. If he had put my three-year steroid transformation, my video would have said, wow, this was an incredible transformation even with steroids. And so if you think you can get this kind of changes natural wake up smell the roses subscribe click the bell button comment for your algorithm watch the boobs don't forget code greg 10 percent off the supplements the cookbooks trading books coaching plans by me and my team the clothing line all on the website free trading and diet programs click the link in the description get it all and until next time i gotta go race a bike i'm out